Hi guys, welcome back to the one, the only, the original Malika Trotters channel. Yes. So today we just did this really cute 90s matte glam. Of course, it's really classic. I just loved the thought of how 90s makeup was. It wasn't so much structure. It didn't have to be perfect. We didn't really even use a lot of highlighters yet. So the main thing we did was just change the focus on the eye. We kind of had the eyes a little bit you know sunken in we raised our crease a little bit but we kept everything matte but you all know me i had to add a little glow to the nose but other than that everything was just super classic and clean so i pray that you guys enjoy this video make sure you comment like and subscribe click that notification bell and comment down below what you all are doing for the holidays as well as any suggestions you have or any type of video that you'd want to see bye i love you so right here we're just gonna set our concealer with our maybelline fit me powder you guys i'm going to tell you over and over again this is an amazing and such an affordable powder it really hides and eliminates the pores it adds coverage and it also brightens and now i'm going in with the la girl slim shady brow pencil in the shade blackest brown my eyebrows have gotten so 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 big they've grown out a lot and i haven't had them done in a minute but you know how it is when you're letting your eyebrows grow out so when you do get them done again they're going to be really bomb that's the phase i'm in right now i'll probably get them threaded end of december january but yeah until then we're just kind of letting them do their own thing So now I'm blanking out my eyelid with the Ruby Kisses Concealer. You guys use whatever you want. I've been thinking about getting my hands on that P. Louise um, eye base. I don't even use eye primers, but I really want to try it. So I'm blending this out with the e.l.f. concealer brush. I have been using this brush for years. It's amazing. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright Palette. This is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. Be on the lookout for a lot of tutorials with this particular palette because it is just so beautiful. So notice how I'm starting my eyeshadow. I'm starting it on the mid eye and then I'm working my way in towards my nose. That is mainly where you want a lot of the structure to be for this eye. This is all about, you know, making a rounded, just sunken eyes. And it's just really pretty. I had never created a look like this, but it actually turned out really pretty. Look, I really did that. <laughs> So now we're just kind of, you know, bringing down whatever shadow is left on the brush downwards. I'm not really adding more products until now, which is I'm taking a darker shade and I'm just really going in just to add a little bit of definition because you really want the eyes to look really sunken in. Again, I really love 90s makeup. I want to start incorporating a lot of their trends and just their little styles that they did with my everyday makeup because I really like the way this look turned out. So now we're going in with these two creamy matte shades and we are just starting to outline the lid. Again, you do not have to use concealer to get that definition, hence why this is really soft glam, but it still has a lot of structure and it says something. What I like to do is I just like to take a really flat definer brush and I take the end of the brush and I kind of press it in my crease just to get that shape that I'm wanting. And I think this is a really great tip for people that are, you know, just wanting to get into makeup and they want to cut crease, but they're not really sure on how to use concealer. You can always do this trick. So now we are creating a wing with the darkest shade in the palette. And I just use the flat brush and I'm just smoking it out a little bit. I go in with my wispy eyelashes and I did cut them because I wanted most of the drama just to be on the mid eye and outwards just to give that winged effect just to keep the inner of the eyes open yes i got my nails done so i had to show them to you i hadn't had acrylic in almost six months shout out to bella at polished you are amazing babe so now i am just adding some mascara i'm really putting product just on the end of the lash because i really want the eyes to be lifted and i gotta be bomb so yeah 
we're just adding a little bronzer because I want to look sun kissed 365 days of the year. Now we're going in with the Sasha Buttercup powder. This is an amazing trick. We are cleaning up under where we put our blush and bronzer. And what this does is if you bring down your products on your cheek too low, this kind of cleans it up. It's like tape but it just makes everything so sharp and crisp like i love baking on my cheeks or underneath them it just adds another look it makes it look cleaner and more structured how many times am i going to take a selfie i don't know just just keep on taking them alika because that's what i do and i love every single second of it if you don't capture every moment in life what are you really doing sis let's let's finish this tutorial so so now we are just brushing off all of that baking powder that we used make sure you buff it all out because you do not want to have any residue of this product left over your face but if you do it the right way it will be so pretty now we're going in with a little bit of blush this is the abh blush trio and then we're going in with the becca ipanema sun bronzer and now we're going in with our abh brow gel you guys know the drill this is nothing new this is my og product i will use it forever i use it on my clients as well and it keeps your brows in place all day what would i be without three lip liners now i did put gloss on the lip for this i think that a lot of people wore matte lips in the 90s but there was gloss as well i'm a gloss girl so that's what i'm gonna do so i will drop down the lip combo in the description box So I went in with the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini and a Milani Lip Gloss. I'll drop that down below as well. But this is pretty much the look, you guys. It was so easy to do and it was just really fun and refreshing to do something different. But I pray that you all enjoyed this tutorial. I pray that you guys have an amazing week. And remember, there is nothing too hard for God. Whatever answer you're looking for, whatever you need in life whatever you're wondering about how is this going to happen how can i obtain this how can i get through this god is just waiting on you he has everything that you need and not only that he has already put everything and every person in the earth for whatever it is that you need to live your life so i pray that you guys have an amazing week and happy holidays i'm dropping a thanksgiving look next week you know i got you bye you guys i love you stay blessed